Let's see if the encounter will be in a favor of the visitors or the home team. Let's have a look at the starting lineup. Barnett Gardens, Eric Edwards in goal, Joel Cunningham, Shivani Willis, John Drake Cunningham, Philander Wing, Rashane Thompson, Jamon Shepard, Roderick Granville, Marlon Martin, Rashiki Kelson, and Kahim Dixon. Their head coach is Xavier Gilbert. Prayers rise for Lime Hall. Let's have a quick look at their lineup. Damian Robinson in goal. Damani Sewell, the captain, Ron Sewell. Carlos Campbell, Jimoy Jones, Devontae Redman, Marlon Pennicook, Sajay Anderson, Marlon Buckley, Gavin Harrison, and Omar Walters. Their head coach is Hopton Gilchrist. Full time highlights. This matchup had the Predators versus the Prey in the jungle. And Arlette Gardens, they started well. Cunningham there at the near post, trying to cause some damage. There was some amount of self-inflicted wounds from Lime Hall, almost causing danger. And Rashiki Kelson, his shot going wide. And Jaheim Williams making that error. But had a good save in this particular instant, blocking Jamon Shepard from his shot thrown goal. And again, he came up trumps after Kahim Dixon fired with fury. What a save from Williams. His second real save of the afternoon. And there were some more moments for him. Here, perhaps a comical moment. Marlon Pennicook, free on goal. And there was nothing to write home about from that one. First goal came from that delivery from Philander Wing. Ended up being an own goal. Buckley under pressure from Kimani Arbo and the substitute he headed it in his own goal disappointment for Lime Hall they were standing firm but architects of their own demise in that particular instant only a minute later Jane Thomas playing that one forward ball played in the path of Kaim Dixon and a goal hungry Kaim Dixon will do nothing but convert that. Jimoy Jones giving that one easily on a platter to him. And Jaim Williams, more frustration, but more joy. Perhaps the flick will have to be worked on. But he had the goal. A shot there from Arboyne. Saved. Chase Smith lined up that one. Had a wicked deflection that it went off the upright as well. Danger averted in the end. Here comes McGregor across. There was an offside call there. And Arboyne combining with Dixon again. Another save. And McGregor off the upright of the crossbar, ra rather. Chase Jaheim Williams injuring himself in the landing and eventually would have to be substituted. Another strike here from Thomas. Good build up play from. DeAndre Cunningham and Thomas, the substitute, finishing coolly. That was goal number three for Arnett Gardens. Giant Thomas getting that one. Another shot in the end after an outfield player came in the goal and kept them in a respectable margin. Nikolai McCoy, what a moment he had in the final moments in goal for Lime Hall. Here's a full-time statistic. 14 shots on target from 23 attempts. Still Lime Hall having no shot on target, three attempts. Some 21 fouls in this encounter. 13 of them to Arnett Gardens, two yellow cards to Lime Hall players, one to Arnett Gardens, one offside for Arnett Gardens, eight corners, five for Arnett, 11 saves made by uh, the combination of Jaheem Williams and Nikolai McCoy. And 35% of the possession to Lime Hall, 65 to Arnett Gardens, and three goals as they consolidate themselves on equal points with the rest of the table. But they are behind in goal difference. They are jointly on 42 now with Tivoli and Portmore, fourth and third, respectively. They are still in fifth. We're standing by for the man of the match interview. Let's hear what Philander Wing has to say. 
Philander, from your high school days, you've been a real utility player for all your coaches. How much are you enjoying the overlapping left-back role for Xavier Gilbert? Well, it's good, but I'm still growing at the end of the day, so it's a learning process for me. And look for more this season. How much more does it require from you to actually go up in the attacking third and then get back and, and execute those tackles as well? Well, I'm a player that run, like to run, so it's not an hard task for me. And talk to me about the season so far. How much are you enjoying the season, the, the goals that you have set for yourself this season? Well, so far I'd like to score seven, but I'm still working on it, so it's a working process. What's special about the number seven? For on it? No, you said you set yourself seven goals for the season. What's special about oh, well, the number seven? It's not a special number, but That's I think it's a pro task, so I'd like to get there. And it seems as if Arnett are heading towards the playoffs, so you'll have more games to execute that number seven as well. Yes, I can get there, definitely. All right, good performance today. Congrats on your man of the match performance.